Okay, that's not going to stop me from shorting here. Now we got a four bar pattern. You can see that that fast pulse line still wants to hook down. Excuse me, the slow pulse line still wants to hook down. And now actually it's going to be a sure a four bar cell, but also a two bar cell because this bar, the last up close has a down slope on the slow pulse. So if this current bar closes down, this, those two bars will form a two bar pattern. So just kind of like what I said earlier, if this market does not want to go lower here, I hope it just is able to continue to push higher until it invalidates this short for us. All right, we do have a two-bar sell available in um, crude oil over here as well. So short on the two bar short combined with the standard sniper and crude oil. I'll be honest with you, it's not my favorite trade. Uh, I have a reduced stop on this one. I got a value fill. I really, we broke out of the consolidation to the upside. And... Um, if we had a little bit better topping formation, I'd like the signal a little bit more. But the standard sniper signal makes it a little nice. Let's see if we can uh, take it down here. Try to watch both of these trades at once. So we put in another, another fourth bar up, which is probably going to cause me to not get into this short on the DAX because we're not going to get a down hook, it doesn't look like. So I'm still watching the DAX really closely. <clears throat> I wish I had gotten a couple of tick better fill even in, in crude oil, because I kind of sense that it, it wasn't going to want to move down right away. So it would have been nice to have gone ahead and got it, you know, with the better fill. All right, we're in the profit now in uh, in crude oil, and we're short in the DAX. So I got two different trades going here. Let's see how we do. We traded up to that minor DPTL. Not a bad spot to be getting short in the DAX. Of course, we got a pretty strong move to the upside underway, but let's see if we can get enough of a pullback. Three ticks of profit in the DAX. Four. <clears throat> we got to uh, plus how many? We got to plus three, I think, in crude oil as well. There goes crude oil. Winner in the DAX, winner in crude oil. So there you go, back to back, boom, boom. That's the way we like it, guys. I took six tick winners in both trades when it looks like there might have been a little bit more available than that. So give me some feedback, guys, who enjoyed some of those uh, trades with me. Let me highlight... Uh, I, I wonder if everybody knows what the heck I'm doing over here in the DAX. So let me just get my bearings to make sure there aren't any other trades that I want to be pouncing on here. But And then I'll highlight for you guys exactly what I did and why I did it in the DAX. As far as crude oil, I think it's pretty straightforward here. We had a standard sniper signal. You know, that's always valuable. And then the fact that at the same time we got the standard sniper, it happened to also be a two-bar pattern, increased it, the value of it. The fact that we had just broken out to new highs kind of, you know, made me a little bit leery of it, but it, it came through for us. So the two-bar pattern, for those of you that are a little bit new here, we got the uh, up-close price bar. When we have an up-close price bar, and at the same time we have an up-close price bar, we have a down-sloping pulse line. That says, ooh, ooh, 
watch. See, we might get another two bar short right here. I'm going to pass on the second one, but it's also decent. So um, look at that, instant winner. And that was a tradable trade. If I wasn't in the middle of this explanation, I would have traded that one too. Okay. So up close price bar, down sloping pulse line. That makes you say, ooh, 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 we might have a trade setting up here. 